The fact that reversible reactions KC and KP did not feature at all this year in uh, AQA A-level chemistry exam, both in paper one and in paper two, make me only think that probably this is because this topic is going to be one of the main questions in paper three. But how does this link to your practical skills and your required practical? You already have two experiments which are reversible reactions. These are the dehydration of cyclohexanol to make cyclohexene and esterification. So one of these could be one of your main practical questions in paper three with follow-up questions about the different factors affecting the position of equilibrium, maybe some calculation as well to calculate the KEC. I may as well think out of the box and try to think like the examiner this year and say that they will get you an experiment that you've never seen before, but it tests your practical skills that involves reversible reactions using gases. Good luck, everyone.